So I have daily persistent migraines. My migraines range from a pain scale of five at its best to a 10 at its worst. When my pain gets to like a nine, my left ear turns bright red, bright red. Not my right ear, just my left ear. You wanna know why your ear gets redder and redder with migraines? I got you. You gotta follow along a little bit. We're gonna be talking a little bit, kinda of like we're chasing electrical wires through the house, but if we've got pain that's happening in this part of our eye, like around our eye, this, this is sensed by the ophthalmic nerve. It's the first branch of the trigeminal system. And that's important because that information is gonna go into the same side of the brainstem to the caudal trigeminal nucleus. It's the bottom part of that nucleus. And then that is gonna send a little no another wire in a reflex. It's called the trigeminal parasympathetic reflex to the sphenopalatine ganglion, kind of like right in here. And then that is kind of where the output starts to happen because what that's gonna do is signal this response where we get a nerve that's gonna kind of travel up with the external carotid artery, branches to the posterior auricular nerve, which goes to your ear. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna release a substance locally, vasoactive peptides, CGRP, that's how we use these medications. And then you'll see that that vasodilation is gonna occur specifically in the skin. So it's different than what we'd have if you're hot, right? But it's a little bit different. It's more associated with like what you'd see with blushing. Anyway, so that reflex arc, so we get pain that goes in, reflex happens, we can get redness in the ear. The other thing that can happen is you'll see that sometimes your nose will run or your eye will water on the same side. The reason that it's unilateral is because where that pain signal comes from. If it comes from this side, you're gonna get a red ear over here. If it comes from this side, you're gonna get a red ear over there. And the reason that we know this comes from work done on cluster headaches, where, because that's kind of the normal thing people will see where I get the headache. And then because of that pain, I also get that sphenopalatine ganglion activity that causes my nose to run, my eye to water, my ear to get red. And if you block that, if you take some lidocaine in there, it'll prevent that from happening. It can also happen with the autonomic outputs or the motor outputs that come with a migraine headache as well. Um, but typically, the cluster is kind of why we know that. People will call it red ear syndrome. They wrote a paper about that a long time ago. You might be able to find some information there. But suffice it to say, basically, as the pain level goes up, as that sphenopalatine ganglion gets activated, the outcome of that is that we get a red ear. That's your tell. So good luck hiding it, but hopefully that's helpful. And then maybe second part, if I could intervene, would be like, why is, why is that migraine happening? Could you prevent it from going down that road in the first place? So anyway, hope it answers your question. Hope it helps. Talk soon.